going to do a video on how I connected my uh, generator directly to my uh, circuit breaker box. I drew a small diagram here. It's outlet or plug. It's the same thing. You know, anybody that's opened up a uh, circuit breaker box, you know you have your ground, you have a neutral, you have your line two and your line one. Your neutral and your ground inside of a house are tied to the same area, but that's not the same on a generator. Each generator may vary, so that needs to be checked by their uh, wiring diagram. Um, but it makes things so much easier than a bunch of silly extension cords running out of your freaking windows and doors. But you just make an outlet. That's, you know, a, an outdoor outlet. And I put some notes there so that I make certain that I shut down the power, incoming power, so if it happens to come back on, things don't go nasty. And pretty much plug it in. And I keep this cable rolled up inside the... Uh, generator housing enclosure but there it is but yeah and here it is got a fire extinguisher just in case things catch on fire or something just in case and I cut a, a pot in half for kind of like a pass through so I can close the cover in it and not have a not cut through the uh, cable while it vibrates but needless to say You just plug it directly in your generator and it powers up just like normal. I uh, added the uh, generator uh, cover, or not cover, the uh, plastic cover to it to keep it a little bit more protected. The generator housing covers it up, it keeps it from the weather, but I wanted a little added protection, so I put that in there in addition to. But, uh, what I like about this generator is the simple fact that you don't have to uh, do a bunch of modifications like exhaust fans and such as that. And plus it was free. I got this for free. So worked out pretty good for me. Well, that's it.